<laughs> Sorry. It's, yeah. it's already yeah, you off the rails. Say, you say hola. It's like, uh, this is for the Spanish. Yeah. This is for the, the Spanish. Yeah. We'll, we'll have subtitles, actually. Maybe we should start <laughs> subtitling everything. Branch out a little bit. I meant to be talking. I know. Sorry, yep. Sean. Sorry, Sorry guys. Uh, hi, guys. Welcome back to Drums with Roshin. Uh, this time it's Drums with Dave Turnkrantz of Russian Circles. Thank Hello. you very much, Dave. No, of course. Thank you for having yeah. me. A pleasure. A pleasure. Uh, Dave is uh, on tour. You guys are on an EU leg of a tour at yeah, the moment. Yeah, we're on the, the second part. We did the Eastern Europe a few months ago, and now we're doing all the Western. Amazing. Yeah, and we're about five days away from completion. <sighs> that, that kind of wind down period. Yeah, yeah. When you're, you're so close, you can see the end. Always end on London, and then. Mm. Fly home from there. I'm coming back to Dublin actually for a layover and then back to Chicago. I hope you guys. Aer Lingus. Aer Lingus is good. They're, they're good, good airline. guys. Yeah, they do, good, they good, do right. Good airline. Um, Dave has brought with him this extraordinary stainless steel uh, beast of a Ludwig kiss. Yes. Um, tell me about this, Dave. What, what is this and, and, and what does uh, it do for you? Uh, it's a, a vintage 70s uh, Ludwig kit that I got in Chicago. I, uh, we were involved in a car accident years and years ago. And I had an old 60s Gretsch that got destroyed. And uh, there's a drum collector in Chicago that happened to, uh, I, I happened to have a friend that got me in touch with him and uh, he had this kit. And I've always wanted a, of course, every Bonham fan wants a Visalite or a stainless steel, 70s stainless steel kit. So he had one that was in perfect condition, not anymore, I ruined it. Um, it was in perfect condition. Sure. But uh, it happens where I picked it up on that particular tour where I lost the Gretsch, but I gained the Ludwig. And this is before I was with endorsing Ludwigs. I've always been a huge fan, right, obviously. Right. And so I picked it up and uh, I actually uh, realized that I took the um, uh, diecast hoops off of the Gretsch and ah. I put it on this kit. So they have a little bit of the old Gret RIP, the old uh, green Gretsch that got <laughs> killed by a, a, a dumb motorist in uh, Louisiana that decided ah. to send a text. That's awful. Yeah. yeah. But, but I mean, out of it comes this absolute babe of a drum kit like um, your sizes what, what have you got here this uh, is 24 by 14 uh, 13 by 8 and then 16 by 16 and 16 by 16 and then this is the copperphonic uh, snare that yeah. I cannot say anything bad about we, we know about these all right I, uh, I, I have two now and I'm probably gonna try to have like 20 by the end of <laughs> my drumming career just the, they're they're great and uh, this is a 6 by 6.5 by 14 we, we've had them in the shop previous they are just the most wonderful, versatile, warm metal yeah, snare. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. It's like I tried the brass one, mm. and uh, I liked it a lot, but it was too like pingy. It was too bright, and this is just right in the middle. That's something I was been looking for. It's funny, Yuli, the rep in uh, the states, was like immediately try this. I'm yes. like, oh, okay. And then, all right, apparently you know me better than I know myself. There it is. Yeah, they're great for that. They always yeah. throw something at you. And it's just. Oh, that is what I needed. Yeah, yeah, it's not absolutely. what I wanted, it's yeah, what I yeah, needed. Exactly. Yeah, this uh, is incredible. I keep, I keep uh, hearing that the chrome over brass is a lot of fun. I, I might try that out at some point, but uh, I am a sucker for that kind of that bell brass kind of snare tone. But the yeah. second I play it live, it's just like, oh, yeah, it, it might be a little too much. There's a sort of frequency thing, isn't there? It kind of sits right around there. Yeah, it, it yeah. chops a little totally, bit. Totally, yeah. Uh, the copper is always, it's just got a little bit more of that softness, which is... I don't know, it, it just works. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it yeah, does. They're fantastic. And that's, you know, I've been playing the Superphonic for years and it's a good step up from the Superphonic. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the heads I've been using, I've been using the controlled sound Remos for, I would say, six or seven years now. Because I've been kind of going to Vista Light, stainless steel, and all the coated heads. I used to love coated heads, but now it just seems like these are just meant for these drums. Mm. There's and, a kind of a squelchiness to them, isn't there? There's yeah, a... yeah, and, it, and they, they're very durable, which is nice. Because uh, I've been, I switched over to the Emperor on my snare, and I tend to go through them every like two or three shows. Okay. Just because it's uh, a lot of single spot hitting the whole time, yeah. but um, these black dots do help out with these and uh, I, I, you know, I haven't really dabbled too much on the coated on the stainless as much as I would like to, but this is kind of, when I was recording with these, because uh, I had this kit in the States and I shipped it over to our rental company here in 
or in Prague in Czech Republic. Sure, yeah. So they have them there, and I recorded with these. I recorded Emperors with these, and I remember calling John Theodore, which is a really bad drummer. He's terrible. He's awful. He's, 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 he's very short as well. Yeah, he's like he's four foot five. Really short man, <laughs> terrible drummer. Terrible drummer, uh, terrible human, like everything. Yeah. No, he's like the greatest dude and obviously <laughs> the best drummer that I've Unreal. seen live in a long time. But yeah. uh, I remember I was going through heads after heads after heads on this kid, and then finally I called him because he has the same kit yeah. in, uh, in LA. And I was like, what are you using? He's just like, control sound, black dots. Yeah. And ever since then, it's kind of like, Tried it in the studio and it sounded amazing. It, it makes sense. He, he, re he recorded D Loust on uh, this same the same kit, wasn't I, it? It was a stainless I, kit. Yeah, I and I actually, uh, he let me uh, borrow it for a few shows when we were doing some fly ins. And uh, it's just funny when you try anything, anybody else's kit, it always sounds 20 times better than your own. Yeah. You're like, like, why does it sound so much better than mine? Grass mine? is always green. Yeah, exactly. Always, without doubt. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, again, it's like, I liked it so much. I played a Vistalite in the States. Mm. Uh, with a 26 inch kick, 14, 16, and I like it, but with a lot of uh, the faster stuff we do, it gets a little lost. We were kind of talking about it before. The, yeah. It gets, uh, the big boomy gets, gets a little lost for the quicker uh, uh, kick patterns. So uh, Yuli found a, uh, the reissue of this exact kit in the States that I, I'm very excited. It actually showed up on a pallet in front of my apartment. And, uh, and when I was out of town, <laughs> so like he luckily went over there and grabbed it, and then uh, brought it back to uh, to his house. So That's I am, incredible. I'm very excited to. Go I can home imagine. Yeah, 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 go home to a brand new fresh. I know. Drum That's kit. the problem, though. This thing is going to look disgusting after like three shows, but that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Who polishes It'll the drums? Come on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. It's, yeah. it's meant to speak volumes exactly. of the, the war. I used to the, totally the, the, polish the my drums when I first started. I was really? like. Yeah. Oh. No, there's a nick. There's this whole sort of counter movement now where everyone's against cleaning anything. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, the cymbals, drums, anything like Hair, that. Yeah. It, it's, it's whatever, whatever, yeah. yeah. But it, it's, it's, it's so bizarre that you've got two such extreme schools where someone will literally take a rag to every single cymbal oh, totally. after every Absolutely. time they hit it yeah, practically, yeah. you know? And then another group of people who are totally just let them do their thing, they'll age gracefully, yeah, yeah. naturally, and so on. It gives a character. It does very much You so. know, I, I'm, I'm a, a car enthusiast, and uh, the car at my house, if anything, any scratch, I go crazy. But then mm. when it comes to this, I, I, I think it gives a character. So yeah. I'm kind of a hypocrite when it comes to that. No, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go through the other bits and pieces then before, sure. we, before we have to move yeah, on. Of course. Uh, so your symbols, you've been with Istanbul Agap for 10 or so About years. 10 years, yeah. Um, talk us through your setup here. What have you got with you on this um, tour? I, I play a line called Exist. Um, it's kind of their A um, line, if you're going to kind of compare it to a, a, a symbol company like Zildjian A's. Yeah, sure. Um, but I feel like they're way darker, and I, they're pretty perfect for what I like. And, and I go for the bigger symbols because these uh, jerks right here like to play as many amps and many pedals as possible. So it gets really, 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 really hard to hear. My cymbals especially. Like, I used to use in-ears, and that was one mm. problem. I couldn't hear my cymbals. Yeah. And uh, I cool. went, kind of went bigger and bigger. At, at some point, I'm probably going to play, like, 38-inch rides just to <laughs> yeah. keep up with these, with these guys. I like the idea it takes up the entirety of the stage. Yeah, the there'd be are... moments, like, if something's funny happening over there, I would have no idea, because this thing it just takes up the whole, yeah. uh, my whole sight line to the right. But, um, yeah, I, they started this uh, particular... Uh, line, I would say maybe six years ago, and Scott, uh, the the rep that I deal with in, in LA, asked me if I would try them out and endorse them and do some ads and stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure. And I tried them out because I was using another uh, line called the traditional, which is really awesome. Yeah, I really know dark. those ones are. Right. Yeah, they're... Um, and I was using those for years, and he sent me these, and it was kind of like I couldn't believe I liked it yeah. as much as I did. Because you know, when someone sends you something, they're like. You know, like it could, it yeah. could be bad. It could be like ah, you, you maybe too bright. Too. You always have that inbuilt reluctance to like them as well. Yeah, absolutely, totally. Like someone says to you, "Oh, you're gonna love this." Yeah. You, you have that sort of like, you don't know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up. Yeah. 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 But he sent me them, and like I was like, immediately I knew that this kind of like perfect, and they're really durable. Mm. Uh, that's the traditional ones were were pretty damn durable as well. But I've found, like this one, for example, I think I've toured. Five European tours with it and still hasn't broken. That's incredible. And I'm probably jinxing myself literally this right is, now. This is happening, yeah. That's the it's, end. It's, it's just going to explode right Say now. Goodbye. Say but, goodbye. Um, and, and, and these are 15 inch hi hats that I'm playing. All, all the uh, traditional, uh, uh, not the brilliant finish, the uh, traditional finish. Yeah. 
So 15 inch hats, uh, 22 inch ride, 24 inch ride, and 24 inch ride. <laughs> and it, and it's great too because they're all hand hammered still, so every one is a little different. So it's, yeah, um, tend to make a character per symbol like they're all yeah. somewhat different. Yeah, that's I, I tend I tend to uh, uh, for tone tonality I tend to get this one as bright as possible. Sure. And this one slightly darker, and then this one this one as bright as I can as well. But that one that that I use that. 80% of the time, just yeah. to ride or crash ride and then ride and whatever, whatever. So if that one if that one is gone, I have you'll see me run in the back to get another one. Right. Okay. This one I can maybe last a full set. This one same deal. You'll get away yeah, with. Yeah, but yeah, I can. Mm. But that that guy will be used way too much. Amazing. It's my I safety blanket right there. Briefly, sure. uh, Promark sticks. Uh, Promark I think sticks. they're five Bs. They look like it's five B. Five B. Uh, American Hickory. Lovely. Um, great company. Um, I've been using Ludwig hardware, but not here. Sure. Uh, this is all rental hardware. Okay. It's not my own. Okay. Um, I've been using the. I've been using this Trick pedal. Uh, I think it's called a V1. Mm, that's trick. the direct drive pedal. Yes. Now you play quite a lot of intricate patterns on your bass drum. Yes. So you found this one to be the kind of the the, the solution to, to something that lasts, uh, that, that holds up, and it feels good. Or? Yeah. The, my my main problem was I was breaking um, the footbeds on the um, beaters, yeah. not the beaters, uh, the kick pedals. Yeah. And uh, someone mentioned this company probably I would say maybe even longer than Istanbul, maybe 11 years ago, to try it out. So I tried it because they have this crazy material that they make airplanes out of. Yeah. So I was like, that cannot break. I heard so. Oh my God, it doesn't break. And <laughs> so I got one, and uh, I've been playing it ever since. It's the, the same one I bought 11 years ago. That's I got incredible. a backup one, and it's just still brand new it's, in the box. It's, it's, yeah. And like, I have not even, like, hadn't even tried to open it. I've probably some it's somewhere in our practice space. <laughs> it's, it, I've literally dropped that thing down a flight of stairs, and mm. it's like pick it up, and it's still good to go. That's incredible. But uh, yeah, you know, I found out when I was. First, uh, when Versus Circles first started, uh, I tended to like the uh, the foot to be really grippy, and now now I want it to be as slick as humanly possible. Right. Okay. Uh, I think it just helps out with like triplets and whatnot with my foot, and it's like it's just funny how you, you change over yeah, time, your I, technique I would, develops or whatever. Yeah. If I go back in time, I'd be like, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. Like, you, I, like, yeah. I totally get that. Yeah, you start questioning like, what, what you were even thinking about. Like, no, absolutely. What was the point in any of this? But yeah. uh, the, the main thing is the uh, obviously the uh, the drums. Yeah, they are. Mm. They're uh, they're special. Yeah, it's funny. Every time I go play any kind of show that we have to rent a kit, and it's a wood kit. I like wood, but for a live setting, I'm so used to either acrylic or steel. Yeah, very much so. So it is like. One of those things where it projects back at you, and I, I, I need that, especially in the live setting. Absolutely. These these uh, guys play pretty loud. They, they seem to do that very thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's all we have time yeah, for. Great. Man, thank you well, so thank much. You for, thank you for having me. It was, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure as well. Yeah. I, 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 like, I like Dublin. Yeah, it's all right, no? It's raining, though, it's but uh, besides that, I like it. I wish you'd be used to that being in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll see you all again, I guess. All right, thank you.